right here. And now this model contains a spleen on one side and it's dominated by the pancreas right here. The aspect of the pancreas where it's closest to the spleen, that is called the tail of the pancreas. The main body of the pancreas spans all the way over here and it's where you can kind of see that huge kind of fish bone, right, uh, looking material deep inside. Now as you take a look inside right here, you'll see the main or major pancreatic duct, which is number one. This is also called Wurzung's duct. Wurzung's duct will then enter the duodenum by the sphincter of Odi region right here. Now we'll talk more about that next time, but just understand that you have the tail, you have Wurzung's duct over here, the whole area right here of the pancreas is called the body. Now you also have an accessory duct, which is number two. Right? This is called the accessory pancreatic duct or the duct of Santorini. So let's take a look at the back and we can see back here the head of the pancreas. Now the head of the pancreas and the pancreas itself is retroperitoneal. Because it's retroperitoneal, you just have to understand that it's very far back in the abdomen. That's one of the reasons why pancreatic cancer is usually at its late stages before somebody's actually diagnosed. Now, sorry about that, I wanna make sure we have proper lighting. As we look at the posterior segment, you see this number three right here. This is a common bile duct, which exits a gallbladder and enters, and it actually fuses and merges with the major pancreatic duct, forming the ampulla vater. And then they both then get kind of pushed through by the sphincter of Odi. Now, when you take a look at number five right here, now this is a major vessel we've already seen, but you still need to know, right? Because it's a great look at it. This vessel is going to be coming from three different vessels. One is number six over here, coming from the spleen, the splenic vein. One coming from down here, all the way up, inferior mesenteric vein. And then one coming from up here, number seven. And I'll show you a better look at number seven on the other side. This is a superior mesenteric vein. The superior mesenteric, inferior mesenteric, splenic, all forms number seven. This is your hepatic portal vein. This artery right here, that artery is your superior mesenteric artery, number 13. Now, as we take a look on top right here, what you'll notice is that you do see a big, all right, a number eight right here. This number eight is something we had mentioned previous as well. Notice that this kind of goes up and then it splits. This is that celiac trunk that we mentioned previously. Celiac trunk then splits to the splenic artery, which is number, all right, number 10, all right? And then it goes down here and this, all right, and it's gonna become the gastric as well. Now, what we had mentioned in that last part right there was that, right, you could see on the other side, a better example of that superior mesenteric artery, and that's it. Superior mesenteric artery, then this is a superior mesenteric vein. As you take a look right here, take a look, this is that, the whole area of the pancreas would be the body, right? Number one, the major pancreatic or Warsung's duct. Number two, the duct of Santorini.